Hi everybody, how you doing? It's John Wilson here and in today's video um, we're just going to have a chilled out big baggy sweater, beagle kind of chat. Today has been an awesome day, it's been a really exciting day for me for lots of different reasons and I just want to have a quick chat with you guys about it if that's alright. So today I hit a milestone on YouTube that actually I never even imagined hitting. I never thought that I would get one subscriber, then 100, and now I've got 500 subscribers. Now I know that that's not a big deal, there are some people out there that have no videos that have more than 500 subscribers, but to me, it is a really big deal. I use Social Blade, like most YouTubers, to figure out, you know, where I am with subscriber count and views and everything else, and Social Blade pitched me at about 200 subscribers on the 1st of February. So to have achieved 500 at this stage, having started up my channel properly three weeks ago, I am delighted with. And what's really interesting is that for me, I always think that people have less faith in themselves than other people do. And I am just like that. I'm my own worst enemy. I never think that I'm going to be particularly good at anything. I never think that I have anything worth saying. And actually, the videos that I have produced have a lot of really, really lovely comments in the comments section. I've made some beautiful friends from YouTube. I'm super buzzing to do a You Now Tomorrow with my friend Gemma from London, Gemma Trevelyan. She is a candle lady. Um, she does lots of candle reviews and I'm buzzing to do a You Now for you guys tomorrow. That will be at 8pm UK time. 8pm. So, yeah, to achieve the 500 subscribers, what is really, really interesting about achieving that amount, I think I'm going to have to let Piper go, she's kind of getting a bit impatient. What's really interesting about that amount is that um, throughout my very early stages of YouTube, I had gathered up a circle of people that I thought, you, uh, these folks are cool, they make brilliant drama videos, I'm interested in what they have to say, and therefore I started to get in touch with them, tweeted them, I befriended some of them and for me that was um, a really exciting part of YouTube. What I didn't know behind the scenes was that there was one big YouTuber who was going around the smaller YouTubers. When I say smaller I do mean they are substantial channels, they have several thousand and um, if not tens of thousands of followers and this bigger YouTuber was going around saying um, I don't trust this guy, I don't like him, I don't think that you guys should let him into your circle so therefore I want you to block his ass. And for me what's lucky I guess is that um, the people in that group chat didn't block me and since then the shit has hit the fan, that group is no longer together and some people in that group actually come to me and say, by the way, John, just so you know, this shit was going down when you had a hundred subscribers. Let me put that into perspective for you. I was a hundred people gaining a couple of hundred views at most on any video that I made. I'd only made two or three videos at the time and this person had decided that they wanted to shut me all the way down before I'd even started. So that in itself is a bit of a compliment um, that somebody had listened to me um, despite the fact that they weren't particularly keen friends. Sorry, can you hear my dog? I'm going to have to go and put her in the other room. I'll be right back. So not only have I not lost Piper, like I said I was going to, I actually gained Paul. Hi. So, um, yeah, I was talking about the um, the bigger YouTuber. So this bigger YouTuber had identified me as somebody that they didn't want to... <laughs> you guys are just going to have to listen. That they didn't want me to have a voice on YouTube, so they tried to block me. And you know, for me now, finding out this information, it's pretty typical. YouTube is very censored. A lot of big YouTubers get together, they decide what they're going to talk about, they divide up the stories, and bang, there you go. The smaller YouTubers are squeezed out. So for me, to hit 500 subscribers, I've reported on a couple of 
um, really interesting stories and I always think that I take the positive spin on whatever I'm talking about and maybe that was the issue, I don't know, but I've made some uh, wonderful friends, Gemma Trevelyan from London, Peter Mon, Dustin Daly, Mrs. Fucking Wonderful, I've got loads of great chums that really I, I like on YouTube and it's a completely different set of friends from the people that I imagined. So for me to reflect back on my day and my journey in the last three weeks, I can't believe it's only been three weeks, has been really, really good. I've totally loved it. And actually, I'm not going anywhere. I'm super excited to create additional content for you guys. I'm going to do a get ready with me. I plan on vlogging my weekend morning routine. I work throughout the week, so morning routine in the weekend is better. Are you guys all right? I can't believe that I've just been gate crashed by my husband and one of my dogs. The other dog is in the house um, in another room. He's just chilling. But this dog, um, she is... She wanted to come and say hi. So, hi. This is our youngest dog. This is Piper. She is one and a half. And Archie is also a beagle, he's older, he's almost four, so you'll get to meet him soon. And I, I'm going to do a story dot, story time about how I got my dogs, actually, because how I got Archie was a really interesting story, it was quite funny. And, um, yeah, Piper came from a breeder way up north in the Highlands of Scotland, so um, we'll tell you a wee bit of a story about her as well at a later date. So, yeah, my 500 subscriber is so buzzing to me. I'm really, really happy. I never thought I would be in this position so I'm excited to see where my channel grows and I just have to say I am so appreciative and I love every single one of you guys, I love the comment section. I said it in my last video and I'll say it again, the type of um, comments that you see in the comment section really are a reflection on the type of video that you put out I think and of course you get some trolls. God, I have a hate watcher. This hate watcher loves to be the very first person to put a thumbs down on every single video. I made a video about my mum and her ashes, a really sensitive video, it was quite touching and my hate watcher gave me a thumbs down. So I just want to say to my hate watcher, if you're watching, thank you for watching because every time you watch and every time an advert is played on the video that you watch, I get paid. So I don't care if you put leave a thumbs down, I don't care if you leave a torrent of abuse, it helps with the algorithm of my video and it gets it pushed up, up and up. So thank you very much, you're actually growing my subscriber base, so hate watchers for the win. Everybody else, you're far better than that and I really, really love you and I totally appreciate everything that you do. So. Um, this week has been a bit of a strange week for me. Obviously, I spoke about Martin Lewis in my last video and um, another YouTuber that we're not going to mention today. And um, since then, I've actually been feeling a wee bit poorly. So, <laughs> I didn't put a video out yesterday. I'm looking like this today, all cosy in my hoodie and in my cap. Um, just because I want to chill out with you guys for a little bit tonight. So, I mentioned that's my first piece of good news. My second piece of good news is that I managed to get a PO box set up. So I now have a business address. I will link it in the description box down below. I would so totally, totally love it if you posted me a postcard. I'm so easily pleased. But a postcard or a picture or something really cool and we at some point will do a PO box unboxing. So my address is in the description box down below. And the next thing that I want to tell you about and that I'm so excited about is that Gemma that I've mentioned before, Gemma Trevelyan, we are going to be doing a You Now tomorrow night. That is Saturday the 21st, is it the 21st? Mm -hmm. That's why you're here. Saturday the 21st of January, we're going to do a You Now at 8pm GMT. So you're going to have to figure out what time that is with you guys, but make sure you've got your phone or your other devices set up Fan me and you will get a notification when Gemma and I are live on you now. So that's all for tonight's video. I just really wanted to go over those couple of little things. Um, it's not my usual style of video, but you know what? Sometimes you just have to break away from the norm. And I hope that the message that you take away from this video is that despite any adversity, despite your internal demons, I told myself for a very long time, don't do YouTube, you'll be crap at it, nobody will like you, nobody will watch you. It's starting to come to fruition. 
people do like me, people do watch me and I really appreciate every single bit and um, also if other people are putting you down <laughs> you have to just roll with the punches so that's my advice for tonight's video, that's the positivity for today believe in yourself don't listen to your internal demons, definitely don't listen to your external demons, they will always tell you not to do what you're doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, grow that number, 500 strong, I want to see that number grow um, because I love every single one of you guys and I particularly love when you leave me comments in the comment section. So I will see you in the very next video, my social media links are down below, Paul, bye! And next time, we won't bring the pets or the husband along. Bye!